point in your cooking day, some of you might need um, a, a little help turning all of those uh, raw ingredients into a Thanksgiving feast. So we're bringing in a real pro to help with any last minute issues you might be experiencing. Kat Kinsman is back with us. She is the managing editor of Etocracy at CNN.com. Kat, good to see you again. So let's say someone is running up a short on time to cook that turkey. <laughs> well, what now? I've got one word that's going to save you. That yeah. word is spatchcock. <laughs> what, what, it's what fun is it? to say. What it's is it again? Spatchcock. <laughs> okay. It's spatchcock. It's as much fun to do as it is to say. This is going to save you so much time, allow you a really juicy bird. Basically, you take your turkey, you use uh, poultry shears or a knife, and you <laughs> cut the backbone out. You crack that bird open like a book, break the breastbone, and just make sure nice. you get some rub up on under the skin, some butter, I some gotcha. some absolute lusciousness cuts down on cooking time you can get a really crispy skin you know you're not going to have that moment of walking in with a big bird right. Ooh, ah, but you're going to take it back you're going to take that back to the kitchen anyway this way everybody gets nice juicy turkey oh, and you boy. get to say spatchcock <laughs> <laughs> I, I, i'm sure that's a, that's a that's a, a word that'll get me in trouble somewhere uh, how do you keep <laughs> that turkey from drying out and i know this is a question that a lot of folks have <laughs> Right, that gravy is your very best friend. Now, yes. if you're really lucky, you had some time to put your turkey in a brine or something like that. You know, if you still, if dinner's a little bit late today, you can still brine it for uh, maybe an hour or two. That's uh, a gallon of water, half a cup of salt, half a cup of sugar, whatever spices you want. Stick it in a bag or in a plastic container with your nice. bird. Uh, then make sure you dry it off and then you're good to go. Um, at this point, I would go with a dry brine. You mix some, uh, mm. some brown sugar, some salt, some seasoning, some pepper, and again uh, you know mix that little bit of olive oil get up under the skin and over top of the skin baste that uh, that turkey like crazy um, blast it with some heat and you know tent it as needed uh, but say your birds already dried out um, I wouldn't pre slice it and put it back into the oven slice as needed and uh, then uh, turkey stock chicken stock whatever you have on hand and some gravy are you gonna be your very best friends you must be getting a lot of questions about how to, to, to generally deal with family yes indeed uh in which case uh you know a therapist told me at one point magic bubble magic bubble magic bubble <laughs> that uh you know it's all gonna be over at some point uh you just sort of create a lovely a wall of peace and comfort around yourself uh again as we said earlier uh you know don't be the one who causes a fuss um erring on the side of politeness is yes. always uh, it's that that's uh, just be graceful yes. be as graceful as possible even if somebody's shouting at you making horrible jokes uh, criticizing your haircut your life choices <laughs> whatever it is keep calm and carry on and this day will be over soon <laughs> it's etocracy cocktails help too and and then that <laughs> extra that you give us uh, Kat, that's terrific and what is the word of the day with spatch what is it Spatchcock. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there are several places on the planet, several countries where if I said that word, I'd be arrested. Uh, Kat, good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your Pleasure family. To see you. You, too. you can find more on Kat's Thanksgiving musings or advice by heading to etocracy.com.